What's up y'all, this is Franchise Play with a demo impression for NCAA 14. The demo dropped on Tuesday, it was a little, some weird stuff going on with the demo for uh, Xbox 360. For the first time probably ever in my life, I downloaded a demo on PS4, I mean PS4, See what you see where my mind is, PS3 before I downloaded it on Xbox. But, I did kind of wait for the footage to... Uh, for the Xbox version to get itself together before I put this together so this footage is from the 360 version so of course I've I've pretty much been through every nook and cranny of the demo played all three of the um, the different matchups that they have several different times so there's a few things that I noticed let's start off with this a lot of people are making comments about the names of the players and stuff for everyone that doesn't know uh, Games are not allowed to use real college names. So, you're not going to see Johnny Manziel, you're not going to see A.J. McCarron, T.J. Yeldon, any of those guys. Because um, those athletes are considered amateur athletes. And in order to include their names in games, they'd have to be paid, which of course we know is not allowed. So, what the demo has done with NCAA this year, instead of less leaving those guys without names, they've given them names. Now... What you'll notice is every single time you play, the names are completely different for every player. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be, if that's going to be the default set for the retail version. So every time you start a season or whatever, it has um, the names already put in with pretty much fictitious names. So I don't know about that yet. Now, I do have an interview coming up uh, with Ben Hawmiller. Uh, who is one of the main developers for NCAA 14. I have an interview coming up with him. I'm thinking we're going to do that on Monday. I don't know what day you're listening to this, but right about now as I'm speaking, it is Thursday morning. So early part of next week, I have an interview. So I'm at, that's one of the questions I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask uh, in regards to the rosters, are they going to be pretty much uh, just starting from the beginning? Is it going to just automatically default to giving fictitious names? And then, in turn, are we going to be able to edit those names as we usually have been? So that's going to be a big deal because I know for me, um, NCAA is always like a companion game to me for Madden. You know, I like the game itself, but it's best when, you know, it can take the graduating class off and then put them into Madden. So that's one of the big things. Looking at the gameplay itself, a lot of people have commented on just the raw gameplay footage I've put up and said where well, it looks a lot, looks very much the same or, or it looks real similar. To a certain degree, I will agree with that. But there are some things in terms of the uh, physics and the animation that you'll notice immediately that are different. The one other thing you got to keep in, in, in mind is this is a demo. So this is not like the final version. So there's a lot of things that are changing, but there's some things that stay the same. So I switched off the gameplay here and we're looking at just what the things that are supposed to be like the new features. So we got acceleration burst. That's pretty much the same. A lot of this is things that if you've played the series before, you're used to. Ball Hawk is pretty much turning on your defender, holding the wide that button down as a means to try to intercept the ball. Now those were combo moves. Those are definitely new. Gives you different uh, uh, ability to control the ball carrier. The force impact moves. It's really kind of just more concentrating on the truck stick and the stiff arm. Uh, they've added some new animations with those, but the functionality is still the same. Force impact tackling, which is pretty much the hit stick and the dive tackle. They've added some new animations. You can actually kind of do shoestring tackles, trip guys up just by touching their ankle or feet, which is pretty realistic. So I like that addition. The hard cuts. This is basically where you're controlling the momentum, the amount of cuts that you make when you're the ball carrier. That comes in pretty handy. The new hurdle interactions. Hurdle still works the same way. It's just that there are some new animations if you get hit in the middle of the hurdle. Then you got Infinity Engine 2, which you know if you played NCAA 13, it didn't use Infinity Engine at all last year. So Madden was ahead of it in that. So this year is kind of caught up. The 30 option trade moves. Now that is definitely a big big difference you can really use the option to me the way it's supposed to be used and to me that's the biggest gameplay change that I've seen then you saw the Nike skills trainer which pretty much teach you everything about the game then you saw the new blocking AI for the offensive line that I also think is pretty big because you can really tell the difference 
Uh, then you have the spread option system, which I thought really, really, uh, like I said, that just kind of plays into the whole option thing. It really, you could, I actually felt like you could actually really run that offense this year. Uh, showing the energy of the players on the field is important. Uh, you'll see guys running slower when their energy is down. It almost kind of felt like in NBA 2K, which if you go crazy on the speed burst, you drain the energy. The stumble recovery, I think, is cool. I keep forgetting to actually try to do it. I think I've only seen it like once or twice. So if you hit, if your guy gets hit and he's on his way down, you can choose to try to dive for the extra yard or to flick the stick down to try to re get, regain control. Now, there's a lot of different new camera angles that you can actually try to play from. But the point blank thing about this is this is football and there's only so many ga uh, camera angles you can literally play from and see everything on the field. Now here are the sights and sounds. Now we haven't really seen this as much. I've heard a few different things in terms of commentary, but they're saying there's an all new halftime show, which I'm really looking forward to because one of the main things that I thought was lacking with NCAA was actually having a real halftime show. Now here we're talking about the dynasty. So you got coach goals, uh, the new coach skills. So there's certain coaches that may be very, very good at uh, uh, getting the best out of the defensive line or maybe really good with coaches. I mean, with quarterbacks, that's going to actually play into um, the effects that you have on the players. Power recruiting and visits. Now, they've redone the entire recruiting system this year. It used to be extremely tedious and long. They've done some things to try to streamline that. We'll see how that actually works out. The neutral site games. In the demo, you can actually see the Chick-fil-A Bowl or the Chick-fil-A Kickoff Classic. So you'll see that. Um, uh, it should basically be something for the atmosphere. We'll see how much of an actual impact it makes. Then you got the deal breakers in regards to the recruiting. So there's certain things that, are, that may disqualify you from in, even talking to a recruit because maybe your school doesn't meet his standards in said category. Then we talked about the coach skills, uh, head coaches, offensive coordinators, being able to enhance certain units on the team because they possess these particular coach skills. Uh, the coach contracts, you basically can track 30 years of the history of, your, of, the, uh, of the school, uh, making sure that you um, meet the goals that are set out for you by the AD. Then you get the bonus points, um, which is something also that goes into the whole recruiting aspect. Now, one thing that people are really looking forward to is the ultimate team. And a lot of people wonder, well, how are they going to do that without real players? Where they're going with alumni, famous alumni from the different schools. So you see there's Jake Long, uh, Ray Rice, a lot of different guys. I think it's over 2,500 legends that they've included in Ultimate Team. So that's that's who's actually going to be in the packs. So overall, I, I'm intrigued by what I've seen with the NCAA 14 demo. But we'll have to wait and see what really comes from it from the retail version. Y'all like, subscribe, 